Anatomical Directional Terms A directional language of anatomy exists in order to minimize confusion when discussing areas or specific points on the body. This directional language or terminology is used in reference to the anatomical position. The anatomical position is when a person stands erect, face pointing forward, arms at the sides, palms facing forward, and feet also pointing forward. If everyone is looking at the body in the exact same position, there will be less confusion when discussing anything related to anatomy. We're going to start with superior and inferior. Superior means toward the head, but it can also mean upper or above. Inferior means toward the feet, but it can also mean lower or below. So we would say that the heart is located superior to the small intestine, or we could say the small intestine is located inferior to the heart. Next is anterior and posterior. Anterior means further to the front or in front of. Posterior means further to the back or in back of. So we would say the sternum is anterior to the heart and the heart is posterior to the sternum. Sometimes the terms ventral and dorsal are used in place of anterior and posterior, where ventral means anterior and dorsal means posterior. Anterior and posterior can also be used to describe how you're looking at the body. While the body will always be referenced from the anatomical position, it can be viewed from an anterior view, meaning looking at the body from the front, and it can also be viewed from the posterior view, meaning looking at it from the back. Medial and lateral are another set of directional terms. Medial means toward the midline of the body, and lateral means toward the side of the body, or away from the midline of the body where the midline is an imaginary line that divides the body into left and right halves. So we would say that the heart lies medial to the lungs, or you could say that the lungs lie lateral to the heart. Lateral can also be used to describe how you're looking at the body. While the body will always be referenced from the anatomical position, it can be viewed from the lateral view, meaning looking at the body from the side. Next is proximal and distal. Proximal and distal are terms that are usually used when describing parts of the appendicular body. Remember that the axial body consists of the head, neck, and trunk, and the appendicular body consists of the limbs or appendages that are added to the axial body. Proximal means closer to the axial body or toward the trunk of the body, and distal means further from the axial body or further from the trunk of the body. So we would say the thigh is proximal to the foot, or you could say the foot is distal to the thigh. Superficial and deep are another set of directional terms. Superficial means closer to the surface of the body, and deep means further away from the surface of the body. So we would say the sternum is superficial to the lungs, or the lungs are deep to the sternum. Remember, this is the case when we're looking at the body from the front or anterior view, when it's in the anatomical position. And that be the anatomical directional terms.